What's up guys, I'm Chris and today you're watching a magic review on POV by Jao Miranda and Julio Montaro. What is POV? So this is POV, it's a peak device that is camouflaged as an ordinary everyday object. It's all self-contained and you get a great peak. So uh, quality, the quality on this is very, very well made. Now, uh, right now you're looking at the gimmick in its entirety. So basically what this is, is you are, a, the reason it's called POV is because point of view, right? So you are able to get your peak in real time as your participant writes it down. So think of like an impression pad. Now this is not an impression pad. This doesn't require any special uh, marker or anything like that. Now I would recommend using a Sharpie or a permanent marker because the darker and thicker the lines or um, the drawing, it's the better it's going to be. The, the more visible your peak is going to be. But the way that this works, there's a couple different handlings and I'll get more into that when we talk about tutorial. But you can either hold the uh, POV device like this, have your participant write a number, a word, a drawing duplication while you look away. And as you gesture to say, to take away the uh, post-it sheet, as you do that, you're getting your full peak. So it seems like you never look at things because as they're writing, you have your, your head turned and then you say, oh, did you take away the, did you take away the piece yet? Turn again, you get your full peak and then they take it away and you've already got your information. So that's kind of why I compare it to a impression device because like an impression device, they'll take off the piece of paper that they wrote on, they get to keep it. So unlike a peak wallet where you either have to go back to the wallet or even if you don't, if you like you're keeping their information, right? So with this, you're not. Packaging and what you get. So it comes in a little box like this and inside you are going to get your gimmick and then you're going to get an extra pad of post-it notes. Now these are just 3M post-its, they're the, the small ones. You can find them easily on Amazon. I have a whole bunch of these kicking around at home, at work. Um, Amazon I think a few bucks and you get like 12 packs of these and these are your refills and now you're only using one sheet at a time so just a single pad of probably like 50 I don't know but um, is going to last you a long long time so that's I think what's awesome about this is that the refills are easily accessible and very cheap will last a long time you'll also get a sticker and that is just to put on the back of a post-it pad that's sent to you if you want so you have a uh, duplicate kind of looking device if you want to switch things out and hand it out but I mean as this goes on it doesn't call for examination because they're keeping their information so um, but just if that makes you feel better about it then you have that option the quality on this the quality I was surprised it's extremely good right like the gimmick itself is you can't tell that it's any different than a completely normal post-it pad. Overall, it's extremely well made. I can't really talk about it too, too much without kind of revealing the secret, but all I can say is that this could last forever. You refill it, and even the gimmick itself, it's made with a special material so that if ink bleeds through over time, uh, then you can wash this. Now, you need to wash it with something specific, but again, that's something you probably already have at home or very easily accessible and very cheap and one bottle of this solution will last you forever so you don't really have to worry about that so let's get into the tutorial the tutorial is uh, it's a download or a stream first they're going to talk about the gimmick and kind of an overview then Jao will go into the method or the secret. Then you'll talk about lighting. And that's one thing that I wanted to, to touch on because uh, in a Facebook group earlier, somebody had asked if this is hard to see in 
low light situations. And originally I had said yes, because it can be. However, once you understand the method and watch the tutorial and Zhao goes over the low light situation, it actually can be used in almost complete darkness. You just need a light source. Now, I can't again go too much into that, but you don't need much. Okay. And basically, if you're performing in any situation, even if you're almost in complete darkness, you're not in complete darkness because you wouldn't be performing because nobody would be able to see. So there will always be a form of light source of some sort. And that's all you need to get your peak. You'll get it crystal clear. So yes, it can be used in low light situations. You just have to make sure that there is a light source, which there always will be. Back to the tutorial. And then you're going to get five different handlings. So <clears throat> basically there are multiple handlings for you, but there are also handlings where the spectator handles the pad. Okay, now that's a bit more bold, but you're keeping their hands busy. So they're never really going to be moving things around or examining the pad. And it's not even like there's heat on the pad because it's so well made and it just looks like something that everybody's seen, everybody's used before. Probably They probably have a pad of these at home. So anyway, lots of different handlings and they're all very good. Um, then you're also going to get four routines and then a bonus routine and the bonus routine I think is actually like my favorite handling or maybe it's a bonus handling not a bonus routine anyway it's probably my favorite handling because uh, again the pad can be shown from all angles and then you get kind of a joke out of it so you've probably all heard the your card joke right well this is a your number joke and uh it just really makes the peak extremely easy, very, very deceptive, and it seems like you could never see anything. So that's really good. The routines that you're going to get, you're going to get like a standard drawing duplication, but Zhao put a, a twist on it so that not only are you getting the drawing duplication, but if you want to go the route that, that he does, you get the drawing wrong, you crumple it up, place it into he has a wine glass but you could place it into your hand you, anything right you could place it into your participant's hand and then after you see their drawing you snap and the drawing that you got wrong has transformed into a duplicate of their drawing so if you want to have that kind of magic twist on a mentalism effect then there's that option or you can just do standard drawing duplication of your choice there's also a mirror routine where uh, Julio Montaro, basically the approach is that you and your participant become a mirror. So anything that they do, you do, and it's basically a drawing duplication in real time. So as they're drawing, you're drawing. Um, it's really neat. It's it's I've never seen a drawing duplication take that approach before, so that was really cool. Um, then there's also a card trick, and the card trick is multiple phase. So in the beginning, you have them pick six cards, right? So then they think of one of the cards. Uh, you place all six cards face up in a face down deck, and then when you snap and spread, their thought of card is the only one that remains face up. And when you remove the card, you also had them write down a number between one and six. When you remove the card, you show that on the back of that card was the number that they were thinking of. So I know that I'm not explaining this very well. I'm probably making it sound very confusing, but it's actually a really cool effect and it's it's easy to do. So you get that too. Um, so that's kind of the tutorial. Then he'll also go over maintenance, um, maintaining the gimmick, which talks about how to clean it. Difficulty level. This is extremely easy to use and to do because there are multiple handlings um, there are a couple more advanced handlings but there's also very very easy handlings so the advanced handling if anybody has this won't expose the method here I just it's a good comparison for those of you that have it if anybody has blink 2 by Luch 
Uh, there is one handling that is similar to that. And for anybody that has Blink, I really like the peak method with that. Now, this is different, but there's an aspect to that that is comparable to this. So, I don't know, that's one handling, and, and I like it. But overall, difficulty level, very, very easy. Anybody can do this. Just find the handling that you're most comfortable with. Angles. Now, because you're getting a peak, this is an angle proof, right? I, no peak really is 100% angle proof, but the angles on this are really good. Obviously, if you're holding this, or even if your participant does the, the handling and then they place it down, um, if you're handling this, they're get, your participant is going to be in front of you. So you're good because they're writing on it as you get your peak. You know, you wouldn't be able to perform this surrounded and you wouldn't be able to have anybody past kind of like you just your immediate direct side view. You can't have anybody behind that. But that's the case with most uh, peak devices. So the angles are really good. There's just a bit of an angle restriction, which you can't get around that. Setup and reset, arts and crafts. There are no arts and crafts. You don't have to put anything together. It comes ready to go. Um, setup, there really is no setup. You just want to make sure that you have uh, some regular sheets on your gimmick. A reset is basically instant because you can perform this with multiple sheets so that if, you know, so that you could be instantly reset as soon as they take off the padding or take off the, the single post that they wrote on and um, put that away, you're, uh, you're reset right there. But once you run out of sheets that are on the gimmick, then it's just a matter of putting some more on. So either an instant reset or a reset that will just take seconds. Pocket space. This is it, right? That's your pocket space. Very, very small. If you want to carry refills, you can carry an entirely second pad, and now that's your your pocket space. So that and a pen, or I'd use a Sharpie for sure, but that and a Sharpie, and that's all the pocket space you need. Is it a worker, and who would use this? I would definitely say this is a worker. As soon as you know how to use it, you understand the method and the secret. Like I said, even in low light situations, once you know how to use this, properly in those situations that there's no issues. So because this is such a everyday object and it's so easy to use and the in and the reset is either instant or seconds, you can do this table hopping, you can do this strolling, you can use this in a show of some sort. You can also combine this with other effects. So two that I know a lot of people are using this for is Kyle Purnell's Lightyear that you uh, your participant thinks of a two-digit number and you define that and reveal it in a very cool way. This, could, this is perfect to get your uh, peak of a number. And then also Scratch by uh, the Secret Tannery. That is also, uh, you have your participant think of any two-digit number. And when you remove a Scratch ticket from your wallet and scratch it in front of them, that two-digit number matches their thought of. So a lot of people are using this uh, device for that, and it's perfect. And I should mention, too, while I'm just kind of on things, this is best for numbers and drawing duplications because with words, it'll take a bit of practice because you are seeing things backwards. Now, this doesn't involve a mirror or anything like that, but you are seeing it backwards. So just keep that in mind. Personally, I... I love this thing, you know, and uh, I know that there are some mixed reviews out in the magic community. Some people were disappointed in it. Some people don't like it. I love it. I think it's, it's awesome. And I have a lot of different peak devices. I have a lot of different peak wallets, different methods of peaking information with billets and stuff. And, and I still, I think this is great. So what's the price and is it worth your money? So this is $50. Is it worth $50? I mean, I will use it a lot. I will get my $50 out of this but yeah i think maybe between 30 and 40 somewhere in between there might have been a bit better as far as price goes now with that said i'm not sure what material cost to make this now uh, it is made of multiple components there is one moving part there are 
a lot of kind of materials that went into this and a lot of precision. So in order to make this the way they have and source the right materials, this could very well be worth $50 because the pad itself to make this a long lasting and possibly forever product, they needed to source material that looked identical to this. And see, when I picked these up, I didn't know which one the gimmick was. That's how much this looks like a regular post-it pad. But they needed the material to look exactly like this. So the fact that you can wash it and clean it off and it's not going to wreck means it's not paper, right? And But it's also not Tyvek because Tyvek wouldn't look like this. So they had to find the perfect material and make that work. And I don't know what that material is or what it costs. So when you factor that into the overall price, this could very well be worth $50. But just looking at it, if I didn't know anything about it, I would think in between 30 and 40 would be kind of the best price. Here's close up. Looks really good. Looks really good. Uh, I'll even take the number of sheets off. See, like, it looks really good. It looks the same. And then if I write, I don't know, let's put a smiley face on it. And I'll be honest with you here. I don't have a light source in front of me, but I am in a light room. I'll tell you, I can see this crystal clear. And right now I have multiple sheets. I at least I have over a few sheets on here. Now the, the less you have, the easier your peak will be. So maybe you want to play it safe and just use one sheet. I don't even know what that... Anyway, now like it's, it's clear as day. There's no way that I couldn't see this. And even if it was dark, like, yeah, if you set... You know, even right now, I'm not, I have no light source in front of it and I can see it. Now I can see it better. But uh, anyway, all I'm getting at is that I think it's a really, really good peak. Pros and cons, positives, negatives. The only negative that anything kind of negative I'd have to say is, is maybe $50 is a bit steep. And I would have, if possible, I'd have put this in between 30 and 40 Again, I don't know because I've been over that. Uh, pros, extremely innocent looking, great peak, very easy to do. Angles are good. Everyday object. Refills are very, very inexpensive, and you will probably only need to buy, like I think they come in packages of 12. You'll probably only ever need to buy one of those packages, and you'll be good forever. Um, depending, maybe you use this thing a ton and a ton, but... Yeah, refills are dirt cheap, and they will last so, so, so long. I don't know. I have lots of pros about this thing. I love it. I think it's really, really good. And, uh, yeah, if you're interested in it or have any questions, just ask me in the comments or reach out. Uh, join the Facebook group. I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can pick this up. Also leave my Buy Me a Coffee link in the description, which is just... Um, an additional way to support the channel if you choose to do so. It's really easy. Um, with that, I think that's everything I have on this. So yeah, we will see you at the next review.